And a surprise plea from one of the Colville fifth graders accused in a very grown-up murder plot. One of the two Colville boys accused of bringing a knife and a gun to school so that they could kill a fellow student has pleaded guilty. Today, the 10-year-old detailed his role in the murder conspiracy that targeted a girl who had been teasing him. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live in the studio now. And Jeff, the guilty plea coming as a surprise to prosecutors. Yeah, because this was just supposed to be a pre-trial scheduling conference, a hearing set the dates when the defense would try to suppress evidence like that very real gun found in this young man's backpack. Instead, the fifth grader pleaded guilty. Guilty or not, we are still not willing to identify these young defendants because of their age. Their alleged plot was foiled in February when another student spotted the intended murder weapon. The boy who pleaded guilty here today was supposed to be armed with a pistol. He said um, he was supposed to use the gun to keep everyone away while and he said at that point, he said was going to kill her. The plan was not spontaneous, but hatched over the course of a week and involved getting the weapons necessary for the on-campus attack. And then I asked him about the gun, where he got the gun. He said he had stolen that from his brother's room, and that his brother had stolen it from his grandfather. But then today, weeks before his trial, the 10-year-old, flanked by his father, surprised prosecutors with his guilty plea. He admitted this morning that he, he knew what he had done was wrong, um, but he was doing it because he was hopeful for a better future for himself by taking responsibility now. And pleading guilty may have also been the 10-year-old's best legal option, especially since prosecutors are considering asking the court for an exceptional sentence. So we're trying to address everything kind of in one proceeding where you're addressing punishment for what they did for a serious crime, but at the same time, you're also concerned with trying to fix whatever the problem was so that you have people that will grow into normal functioning members of our society. And so this is a clear cut and swift victory for prosecutors. Today, the 10-year-old pleading guilty is charged for his conspiracy, witness tampering, and juvenile con convic con convictions. He now faces anywhere from two to two and a half years behind bars. Mm, that was a surprise, Jeff. So what happens with the other boy? Well, today's guilty plea is going to come as a rude surprise for him because the 10-year-old in court today can now become one of the state's best witnesses and testify against the 11-year-old of the future. Look for this young man who pled guilty today to be sentenced on April 22nd.